Today I'd like to talk to you about how to use USB drives with the iPad mini and the iPhone using iPad OS 13 and iOS 13. It was recommended that uh, you get the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter and here's the box and here's what it looks like. And it has a USB input and also a power adapter. And that power adapter is pretty important if you want to use flash drives. The flash drive, uh, uh, when I first, first got this adapter, I couldn't get it to work. And I couldn't figure out what was happening. Sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And uh, I kept trying several days and looking on the Apple website, couldn't find any information on what it needs and to make this work. And finally, after trial and error, it occurred to me that uh, the only thing that works all the time is when you plug in a power plug that has five volts and two amps of power at least. So the uh, charging adapter that comes with the iPhone is not powerful enough to run this. So, but the iPad mini charger is. It, it has 5.2 volts and 2.4 amps, the iPad plug. So any plug that will provide 5 volts and 2 amps should work with the iPad Mini 4 and the iPhone 10R, which I have. Uh, in order to use this, you just You plug in your uh, flash drive and you plug in a power that's connected to at least 5 volts and 2 amps power. Then when you plug this into your iPad mini, works fine. So I hope this video helps all the people that are having trouble making this work, because I sure did. Now also, if you want to use, I, I use these kind of plugs uh, that I get on Amazon, and they're rated at uh, 2 amps, but with two plugs, but only one of the plugs is really 2 amps, and the other plug is probably 1 amp. And so, and this plug is the same way, one of the plugs is two amps and one of them is one amp. So if you use these kind of plugs and it's not working for you, plug it into the other plug in and it should work. All right, well, I hope this video was solves the problem on why some people are having trouble getting this lightning to USB camera adapter to work. And it's all because of the power that's needed to run your run your accessories. So a minimum of a plug that supports 5 volts and 2 amps is needed for flash drives. And the same thing goes with my iPhone 10R. I, I can't use the power adapter that comes with it. I have to use my iPad power plug to make it work on my iPhone 10R. And uh, all right, well, thank you very much. And I hope this video solves some problems for you. And also, if all else fails and you don't have enough power for your accessory, if you get a, a, a candy bar charger like this, this one's got 20,000 milliamps it's called the pocket juice and it it puts out 4.4.2 uh, amps so that's uh, an also uh, another alternative if in case you don't have a power plug that's powerful enough this this will work on just about anything <laughs> all right